all too often narcissistic people are victims of their own reality however because they don't want to take responsibility for the reality that they are creating for themselves they blame those around them and one of the perfect mixtures for a stormy narcissistic relationship is having a narcissistic person who believes they are the victim, who thinks that everybody else is at fault, who doesn't recognise their own behaviour, who doesn't care for others on a genuine basis and having someone who has the empathy and the compassion to see another person's point of view, having someone who recognises their mistakes, having someone who takes full responsibility for their behaviour because a narcissist can play this relationship to their advantage. Narcissists, in one sense, allow other people to control their emotions, but so the narcissist can stay in control of their emotions, they are going to project out onto other people, they are going to provoke other people into feeling what that narcissist is feeling, so that the narcissist doesn't have to take ownership of their own feelings. They leave you feeling how they were feeling and they find a way to blame you for how they're feeling but they don't take the responsibility for how they've made you feel. When it comes to life most people are a victim of one thing or another. A lot of people try and play down the things they've been a victim of. A lot of people try to help others through similar situations. Narcissistic people go around blaming, shaming, criticising and judging others. Narcissistic people go around exploiting others. Narcissistic people tend to be incredibly envious of other people which is often why when you're around them, you might notice them just randomly staring at others and then often tearing that other person down, pulling that other person to pieces. They are that other person might have never spoken to the narcissist within their entire lives. It might just be someone sat in a restaurant at a table with somebody else, but the narcissist sees something they don't like within that person. They either see well, they don't like the other person having, they see the other person as happy, they see the other person as in a stable loving relationship. So they they stare and they study people and then they find a way to tear strips off that person because that person who sat there minding their own business has triggered an emotion within the narcissist who then seeks to pull that other person down to feel better about themselves. Narcissistic people believe they deserve special treatment. They believe they're entitled to have things their own way. So when they're not getting things their own way, they are going to go around the houses to get things to work out in their favour and they are relentless. They are not going to stop until they get what they want from you. More often than not, they can do this through many different manipulation methods but the main one is to try and get control over your emotional feelings so that they can have their own way. So they might bait you into feeling guilty so that you give in and they get what they want. They're going to bait you into taking on board all the responsibility for their behaviour so that they can get what they want. They're going to invite you into those circular arguments to wear you down so that you give in. If they're feeling like they're not getting the attention they believe they're entitled to, they're going to provoke feelings of jealousy within you so that they can feel better about themselves. 
when it comes to a narcissist, they're not going to take responsibility for their own feelings. To them, that is your fault. However, because they are the self-entitled hypocrite, any feelings they provoke it within you, that is also going to be your fault. A narcissist is going to be the victim in their life. Anything that doesn't work out how they want is somebody else's fault. Somebody else has done that to them. They, they don't see any form of their own behaviour causing any issues within their life. They believe it's everybody else causing the issues within their life. And when you've got a victim or a survivor of narcissistic abuse who has actually been the victim of somebody else's mistreatment of them, they more often than not take responsibility for their own behaviour. They're usually the ones sat there thinking, well, if I hadn't have done this, they wouldn't have done that. If I just try harder, if I just do this, I can help them. And the, the true victim ends up walking on eggshells to serve the narcissist. Therefore, the narcissist has then gained control over their victim which in one sense helps the narcissist believe that they've gained control over their own emotions. However, because they don't have the control of their emotions, because they don't take responsibility for themselves and their own behaviour, it never lasts with a narcissist. It's always going to be something else that comes along in life that knocks them sideways and they're always going to be looking to pin the blame on the scapegoat so that the narcissist can get away with how they're feeling, get away with how they're behaving. They will go out and cheat somebody out of money. They will go out and exploit people out of money. And then, so they don't have to take responsibility for how they've treated another person. So they don't have to recognise that it's morally wrong. They, they blame the other person so that they don't have to take responsibility. They're not held accountable and there's no consequences to their actions. A narcissist will go out and cheat on another person which shows the narcissist lacks loyalty, they lack respect, so they lack morals. But as they're not going to take responsibility for this, as they believe they're entitled to special attention, they're going to turn around and say, well, it's because you didn't give me the attention that I'm in entitled to. I'm not saying those words, they'll say things along the lines of, if you'd have paid me more attention, I wouldn't have gone elsewhere to justify within their own minds of why they're the victim. They believe they're the victim because no matter how much attention you were serving them, it's not enough. So they believe they were the victim and they had to go elsewhere and you're the one that caused that issue. And those who take responsibility, no matter how much attention you've given the narcissist and question themselves, well, what did I do wrong? How could have I done things better? How could have I made it work? Rather than thinking, no, this person lacks the empathy and the respect and the loyalty to genuinely care for who I am as a person to not hurt me in the first place. And again, to get away with it, they will, they will smear the name of the person they've cheated on to their friends and family, to distract their friends and family from the narcissist lack in loyalty, lack in respect, lack in empathy by getting people to doubt the victim, by getting people to question who the victim is and not who the narcissist is. So people are given a clouded vision to true circumstances and rather than recognising that no that behaviour is just not right no matter what someone's done that behaviour is wrong a narcissist will be out there smearing the name they'll be they'll be claiming that whatever the narcissist did to you you did to the narcissist they'll be claiming that you have addictions they'll be claiming that you treated them badly they'll be claiming that you're the one that had the affairs when you didn't have any affairs and it, it takes time for the truth 
of the situation to out. And the, the quickest way to do this is by stepping away from the situation. We, we naturally become defensive when against defensive people, when people are attacking our character, when people are attacking our reputation. It is human nature to jump on the defensive and try and stick up for ourselves. However, a narcissist has usually already gone in there first with their story. So however we try to explain, rationalise or justify, he seems to just play into the narcissist's hands. So the best thing to do is to step away and let the narcissist show people for themselves who they truly are while we go and live our best life. As narcissistic people don't want to take responsibility for their behaviour, they're going to gaslight those around them. They're going to lie to those around them. They will, they will promise somebody something to get their needs met in the present, future faking, to breadcrumb people, to give people that false hope. And then once the narcissist has got what they wanted, they're no longer interested. So then if you ask them for the thing that they promised to deliver you, they're going to turn around and say that they never said that, that you're losing your memory, that, well, if you hadn't have done this, then I would have done that for you because they believe that you're the one causing the problems within their life. Therefore, they seek to cause problems within your life because narcissistic people refuse to take responsibility for their behaviour. They refuse to admit fault. They refuse to admit to any wrongdoing. They're protecting their false reality because they don't take responsibility for their behaviour. They never learn from their behaviour. They never change their behaviour. They always jump on to being the victim of society. They can play the hero very well and they can play the victim very well, usually because that's the disguise that they've put on, that's, that's the reality that they're trying to live. They're either trying to prove themselves as the hero that helps everybody out and everyone else is at fault, or they're playing the victim where they would have succeeded and been the hero if it wasn't for everybody else bringing them down, everybody else turning against them. As a narcissist is never willing to take responsibility for their own behaviour, they're always going to find somebody else to blame for their behaviour, making themselves the victim so that they don't have to recognise what they're doing, they don't change what they're doing and they continue on that cycle. You can, you can get away from a narcissist, you can live without them. They have to live with themselves on a daily basis. And then, as they are very miserable people, as they are very envious people, it's not a very nice place to live. It, it's a hideous place to live when, when you're around one. And they have to deal with themselves 24 seven. It's, you cannot help them because they're, they're not willing to take ownership of their own behavior. You can help yourself by walking free and then, then it's up to them to take responsibility. They're, they're going to blame you in some way because they're always the victim. That's not down to you to explain it to them. It's down to them to recognise for themselves which they're either unable or unwilling to do. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. If you're looking for more information and understanding and help overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video descriptions. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.